Hey, boys and girls. My name is Coach Gonzalez. Uh, I will be your PE coach this year uh, for the 2020-2021 school year. Um, glad to see everybody, kind of, I guess. Um, this year, it's going to prove to be challenging, but it's going to be fun. Uh, PE is always fun. You get to move around. You get to uh, uh, sometimes be silly, sometimes uh, let off some energy. And these next four weeks that we won't be face to face and we'll be online, you'll still get a chance to do that. Kind of taking a break from your everyday classroom activities. Um, first of all, like I said, my name is Coach Gonzalez. There are two other coaches here, uh, Coach Owen and Coach Silva. Uh, we'll get to meet them later on. Uh, but just I just wanted to kind of say hello and give you an overview of what we're going to do this year and how it's going to how it's going to uh, kind of run for the next maybe four weeks, 20 days. Um, every day you'll have to uh, log in uh, either to my Google Classroom uh, or any kind of links that your teacher gives you to link up to my lessons. Uh, the lessons will start off with a health lesson, usually uh, because of how the world is right now with the whole coronavirus. Uh, we're going to really focus on starting each class with a health lesson of hygiene of some sort uh, that will help us keep us healthy. Um, the second thing we'll do is a warm-up activity. Every day you come into PE, you'll do some warm-up activities, whether we're online or we're face-to-face. -face. You'll do some exercises that will kind of get you warmed up for the main game or challenge we're going to do for that day. Uh, the third thing we'll do is, like I said, we'll have a game, a lesson, or some kind of challenge, like I, like I like to call them, uh, that are gonna is going to kind of challenge you and get you moving, get you physical, uh, get your blood going a little bit, uh, just so you can, like I said, take a break from your regular schoolwork. I know it's not that easy sitting in front of a computer, but um, during my PE classes, during these lessons, you'll get to get up and move around and uh, do different things that are physical. Uh, the last thing we'll do is some kind of assessment or a test or some way for me to check that you're learning, that you're understanding everything that we talk about during our PE period. Um, so without further ado, we're going to go and get started today's health lesson. Uh, we're going to discuss the T-zone. Now, in this day and age, uh, we've got to be extra, extra careful uh, how we participate in our hygiene. Hygiene is, is how we uh, take care of our bodies and keep them clean, um, keep from germs uh, coming into our body. Uh, so we're going to start off with what we call the T-zone, all right? To help me show you what the t what I mean by T-zone, I got my little buddy here. Uh, he's on my iPad. He's called Henry the Hand. He is, uh, there's a T over his T-zone. Notice inside the T we have his eyes, his nose, and his mouth, all right? So if you're looking at me now, the T goes across my eyes, down my nose, and my mouth, form that T. Now, on our T-zone, uh, we should never, ever touch our T-zone. Why? Because that's how germs and uh, viruses enter our bodies. When every time we rub our eyes, we poke our nose, we put our hands in our mouth, uh, we introduce germs and viruses and bacteria into our bodies, and that's what makes us sick. Now, in this day and age, just like you guys, I'm sure, have a mask. We have to wear masks these days. Uh, this is going to kind of help us not poke our nose, touch our face, put our hands in our mouth a little bit better. But notice that my eyes are still exposed. And my eyes, remember, are part of my T-zone. So we're not supposed to rub our eyes um, at all during the day, even after you wash your hands. Because even after you wash your hands, we can still have germs on our hands. So if, even if you wash your hands and you rub your eyes or put your nose, your hands in your nose or your mouth, you're still introducing some kind of bacteria or germs. So we want to avoid the T-zone. It's really, really important uh, to keep everybody healthy. All right. Uh, some rules that we're going to have in PE this year, some new rules uh, that we're going to really talk about. And it kind of goes hand in hand with the T-zone. Uh, we have to wash our hands uh, when they're dirty or when before we go eat in the cafeteria or before you eat at your house. You have to wash your hands 
for at least 20 seconds. All right, doctors right now are saying that washing your hands with soap really breaks the virus apart. Uh, so it can't it can make more of itself and get you sicker and sicker. All right, the second rule is do not cough into your hands. This way, you do not cough into your hands. You cough into your elbow or into your shirt uh, or away from people or uh, away from classrooms if at all possible and when at all possible. Also, do not sneeze into your hands. You can also sneeze into your elbow or into your shirt or away from people if that's not possible. All right. The fourth rule is do not touch, like we've already said, your eyes, your nose, or your mouth. Again, because it introduces bacteria or germs and this coronavirus that we're trying to stay away from. All right. So that's our health lesson for today. Remember, we're going to talk about this uh, in more detail as the year goes on. Uh, and we'll be reminding you of this probably every single day.